My name is Jesper Just. Uh, we are in the Giardini uh, in Venice. This is the Danish pavilion. I've made a piece here called Intercourses. The exhibition starts when you see the pavilion and you have these structures like fragmentations of walls but they still have some kind of uh, integrity and their own logic and you can follow the wall structure once you find a little loophole and you can, if you go with it, it will let you through a little garden where we are now uh, but you have to uh, be ready for a, a, a little voyage. I was uh, thinking a lot about the title and it, it actually came rather late till after the shoot. At first you might think intercourse has to do some, with something sexual, but uh, basically it just means a meeting uh, between either people or countries. Then it's fine, it also has sexual connotations uh, because there is also some intimate aspects to the, to the installation. So I was um, taking my starting point from the fact that uh, I had to represent a country. Looking into imposter banism uh, and replica cities, which I've always found very interesting. I always start with this location anyways. Uh, so I was researching on, on this phenomenon. This Parisian suburb was um, a Parisian suburb to Hangzhou. You have the elements from Usman Boulevard, you have the Eiffel Tower, but the scales are kind of off. I wanted to take the place on its kind of, we could say, on its word, and, and, and try to go along with what it pretends to uh, to represent or be, and then shoot it as if, as if it was Paris, uh, and with French access. Uh, the response I've got is that that people has a very difficult time placing it, but uh, and that's exactly what I would like. You, as a spectator, are also the editor of the film because you have five circular loops uh, where the, in each of them is not too much uh, development. It is the same action in a way, uh, but once you leave one film and, and walk to the next, you see the same characters in another situation doing something else. Uh, so you that way uh, will also edit the film.